Ever since I saw this ammunition box, I've been waiting to get into it. Back at the warehouse today, I've got to unload that trailer because I bought three storage units yesterday. Now, you only got a peek at one in yesterday's video because in one of my rental properties, there was a fire. I had to go take care of things there and was there most of the afternoon and evening. So what we've got to do is get the trailer unloaded, figure out what's good inside, and then we've got to go pick up these other three storage units. It's going to be a couple days worth of work. The good news is it's in the 30s in Ohio now and not the 20s. So that's a hails of a lot warmer. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. What the hails are you waiting for? As we dig just a little bit further into the trailer, I have half the trailer to go. Look at here. All right, this is always a good sign when we're profiling units. So this has the whole sportsman theme, which is a great thing because we can find high dollar items. A lot of sportsmen will spend a lot of money on a lot of high dollar items. And this just looks really cool for a man cave, for, you know, hey, let's just face it. This would be amazing in the bedroom. Bass Lake Lodge, who wouldn't want that right above right above their king size bed? The Bass Lake Lodge, the North American Game Fish. I think that'd be a perfect spot for it. Actually, I might hang this up above my bed. What I'm doing right now is trying to take some of the bigger items out because Gwen is coming. She'll actually take them off the dock into the warehouse, price it all so I can keep up. So these, these children's items here, we're probably looking We'll just say $30, $10 a piece on those, okay? We won't know until they actually sell. Now, here's some other things here. Whenever you get furniture, chairs, and a table set, a table without chairs will almost never, ever sell in the Ohio area. But chairs, okay, we got six maple chairs there. I could probably sell those for 200 to 300. If they were actually oak, I'd be looking more at four to 500. Now, the good news is, is we actually have the table. I see the legs, there's a leaf right there. So we'll have the full set. Whenever you're looking at furniture and storage units, try and make sure that you have the chairs as well. This vacuum here, this vacuum, I have this exact vacuum at home. I bought it at an auction for a dollar. Best vacuum in the world. You can take all the filters out. We'll probably still only get $10 for it. And there's even a garbage can. We'll get a buck for that. I'm getting to the point. I'm just digging a hole so I can get the table out because Gwen's going to assemble it and put it up for sale in the warehouse. But look at this. We actually have an oak single bed, okay? Uh, if we have the sides which we do they're right there we're looking at an easy i mean for that oak th that here is going to sell for an easy 150 dollars now remember everything is regional based what sells for me in ohio may sell for less for you in your region or it may sell for a hails of a lot more but they did get a lot of furniture we got to dig it all out and see what else is inside look at that that's interesting this is going to be really interesting We'll see if we can make some money. It's able to dig a little bit more of a hole. I'm putting all the boxes and crates over here because I got to keep Gwen going. Look, she already got all the furniture off and in the warehouse. So I got to keep her going with the big stuff. Now, this looks like, at first I thought it was a desk. I bet you this is an old hutch. Uh, Broyhill, what's this? Oh, there's a Vizio Quick Start Man. If we have that TV, that'd be awesome. But this is like... A hutch for midgets this comes up to my shins so I'm not sure I think we'd probably get 50 bucks for this and then we're gonna try and dig the rest of this out too and see how much we can make warehouse isn't open had a gentleman stop by looking for music equipment what's your name Tim Tim came by and it just so happens there's music equipment in here we just did a deal so these Samson mics it's just the two of them you're going to take? Just two? Yeah. So we said 10 bucks a piece for the Samson mics. So $20. Thank you. There we go. We just made 20 cash. Just like that. Tim, I got to know, the microphones, how are they going to be used? Where are they going to be used? Well, my name's Tim. I'm from Shreve, Ohio. I play at a coffee shop in our local village here at Shreve, Ohio. We're about 10 miles south of Worcester. Yep. Um, on Friday and Saturday night, that is uh, 
the two days after Thanksgiving, we're going to be have praise and worship all day long up till evening time. Um, I will be playing from 2 o'clock on Friday and 2 o'clock on Saturday. And that's at the coffee shop? That's at Hebrews Coffee Shop. Hebrews Coffee Shop. It's like 108 South Market Street in Shreve. Wow. Okay, so that's yeah. an incredible thing. The microphones we just sold are going to be used for praise and worship at and Hebrews. God God put these things back to use. That's, you know, he, he raises things out of, yep. out of the murk. And yep. Puts them back to use. I love it. I'd, 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 I'm probably going to give you $20 back. <laughs> well, I thank you very much and hope to see you at Hebrews. God bless. So I'm moving all this furniture out. I just moved this coffee table. And as I moved it, a ton of money fell everywhere. This amazes me. There's money always in every unit. Sometimes you just have to dig a little bit harder. Sometimes it just rains out of coffee tables. All right, I am getting further back here. This is a tall cabinet or dresser. Usually they call these lingerie. Look, money. So lingerie dresser, more money. Okay, uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, we definitely have stuff. Let's see what we have. We've got, where can you Alta Luster take you Alta Luster Worldwide Inc.? I don't actually know what that is. Um, not sure what that is. I'll have to look up Alter Luster. There's a blanket. Now we do, right now we're donating all blankets to George George's son's school. So that'll go to donation. I'm looking forward to getting this out. See what that looks like. Just turn this dresser around. I love it. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at the craftsmanship. The work there. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh! Whoa, we just found we just found what we find in every unit. Let me shield you there. Okay, so we found money and over here we found the balloon collection. This one has soldiers on it. Oh, they're blue. This is going to be really good for my collection. Look at that. Blue as well with S's and stuff. Um Is there anything? I'm just looking right now. Uh, there's something over here. Okay. Look at that money. Look at that money. Um, oh, there we go. Simpsons movie. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I was wrong on that one. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Much better. Maybe we got some old rock tees or something like that. Or, what's that? Oh no! Oh! Oh, it's wet! Oh, look how gross that is! I've touched it, I have to go burn my gloves. Now, these old keyboards, which this one may not be very old, but this is a Yamaha. It's a Yamaha. Oh, there we are. Yamaha PSR E433. These still have collectability. And so, this looks like good digital display here. Uh, missing a knob, but I'm sure we could replace that really easy. Somebody would still easily give us, I'm going to guess conservatively, $50 on that. But we'll have to look that up. Here's a cool dartboard as well. And I found a bunch of darts. So here's a couple cases of darts. This will go for sale in the actual warehouse. And again, that will pull in an easy $20. The actual professional dartboard with the darts. That's an easy money maker. Gwen is out here moving furniture. And regardless that she's like 13 months pregnant, she still won't let me help her. So she's moving it all inside. She's, a, she's an animal. Uh, regardless of what you tell her, she won't stop. So that's a great thing. She has an incredible work ethic. Uh, this is the dresser, the piece. And I like this piece too. I love that. I just love natural wood. I know a lot of people would repurpose this, but this natural wood looks incredible. So all that furniture came out of there. Let's just, we're going to put a rough estimate. Let's just say $300 on all of that furniture and now we can get back in and we can dig through the actual totes and boxes look at this brand new I don't think these were ever used brand new folding cots 
all the pieces are there. You just open them up and you're ready to go. And look, we even got a camp chair because when you're the man of the year, you gotta, you gotta just relax a little bit in your cot. Oh, you know what? These are singles. If you put them to bet together to, be to make a big bed, you got a queen right there. Here's a G-Force racing gear helmet. There's gotta be some value there. Although I'm a little bit concerned because there's actually a screw. See that right there, the pointy part? The screw is actually sticking out. So hopefully there's some value. Look at here, here's a Nordic cross tent and originally $99.99, so $100. Uh, we'll, we'll get 50 bucks easy out of this tent at the warehouse. So excited about that, but more excited to get into these boxes and totes. Totes my goats! Here we go. Okay, we got books uh, and Gettys now until, well, now until, well, it looks like that. Uh, books can be worth money if they're collectible. Some books, honestly, some of the things I've sold the most for on uh, eBay woo, are books. That was a man, so that's okay. Uh, so you just got to find the right books. Let's see here. We got Human Anatomy Physiology. We've got uh, the Medical Advisor. Maybe somebody was studying to be a doctor. That's one of the ways that we can profile. Remember, there were three units in here. Students mastery to accompany clinical procedures. I bet you somebody was actually studying to be a doctor So all of these will have to be looked up online and then we'll find out if we should sell them on Amazon or eBay We got loves you guys know how much I love my boxes Let's see what we have We've got two head-to-head -head baseball. Oh, you know whose favorite game this is? Justin Grimes Grimes fives. He loves the shoot off at like the arcades. Uh, no thumbs allowed. Huh, the hilarious thumbless challenge. It's actually never heard of it. it looks kind of cool. That would be fun. Probably, I'm guessing. Some kind of alarm clock. So we're looking at nickel and dime stuff, except we might be. Okay, something's there. There's a power button right there. Not sure what this is. Uh, it's got to be. Oh, you know what? You put your you put your your phone in there. It's for game. All right. I'm not up to speed on all that. That's Skylander. That's for video games. So I know that. Some other cool stuff in here. There's a model kit. Models are always cool and fun and collectible. Here's a sharper image drone autopilot dx1 is it in here it sure looks like it is it feels like it is well there is the remote control and the actual drone i wonder is it that nope i don't think the drone is in here unless i'm completely and totally I don't think so. So we don't have the drone. Blame it on the drone. I was crying, crying. Blame it on the drone. You wouldn't let me sleep at night. I think that's handmade. Last, when's the last time you saw a mummy dab? Okay. Uh, some odd stuff there. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, here we go. This has got to be collectible. Look at this. Look at all this porcelain. I don't know. Baseball stuff? Hey, that's not porcelain. Hold a second. Hold. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that? I hear money. All right. Let's see what we got. And there is 75, 80, 90, 9. We've got 97 cents. That's almost a buck right there. That's good money. Okay, set that aside. That'll go in the jug to take care of later. This is really kind of cool. What do we have? We got a 65 Chevy Impala, and it feels like it's in, yeah, brand new. Sweet. That's another easy $5 right there. Now, we'll set that aside. I'm not sure what that is. Some booties. More booties. 
Uh, those look like baby items. Play-Doh. Toxic waste! Toxic waste hazardously sour candy. How do you open it? Oh, no way. Look at this. I, if it if this was really candy, I, I might... Uh, but I think it's Play-Doh. I think that's just Play-Doh. Some kid put Play-Doh in there. All right. Let's dig into some other cool stuff. We're taking the no thumbs allowed challenge to the extreme here in the trailer with the storage unit. Okay, let's dig in. Again, remember, no thumbs allowed, right? Okay, so we're gonna see what we have, but we can't use thumbs, and obviously if we can't use thumbs, we can't use gloves. That ought to make you guys go crazy. Uh, this looks like CB equipment. If I could use my thumbs, I'd be able to tell for sure. This is a Cobra. 2-1 LTD Classic, okay? Something else down here as well. Remember, I'm not using my thumbs at all. So my thumbs are right off to the side. Uh-oh. This is a Cobra as well. Uh, so you CB lovers, there you go. I didn't say CBD. I said you CB lovers. There is a Cobra, and it is a 18 Ultra Weather Band CB. Okay. Super cool, don't you think? Yeah, I really do. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Okay, so we're going to slide that over, and we're going to bring this one down. Again, no thumbs. We wouldn't dare use them. I mean, it'd be really easy to just pop that, you know, with thumbs right now, but... Oh, you know what? I got that thumb on backwards. There we go. You know, I'm just all thumbs. Uh, here we go. Let's see what we got. And... Ooh... We got a mongoose bike seat. Look at that. That looks like a brand new bike seat. I'm not sure how much that would go for, but let's just say conservatively, we'll say 10 bucks here in the warehouse, okay? Dust, my eyes deceiveth me. Do you see what I see? Please tell me you see this. Please tell me you see this. This is, all right, we're done with the thumbs. This is the fist of all fist pumps right here. Look at this. This is a Hulk fist pump. Oh, this is better than George's. George, George will never know if I actually take this for the next Sunday Night Live and I pull it out of randomly nowhere and bam, fist pump you all. Okay, you guys be ready with the super chats. I'm gonna keep this from George, don't let her know. And then I'll have this ready for Sunday. And when you guys super chat, whoop, bam, whoop, bam. I'm going to see her stop hitting me. And you see him. Bam. There we go. All right. That's really cool. That's great. Oh, money. Money right underneath it. Did you see that? Well, 55% of money. It doesn't look like it's the whole deal. There is U.S. Polo. Empty. We got clickbaited. Uh, oh, this is sharp. Ooh, look at that knife. Didn't we find another one of these recently? I almost feel like we did. I think we found one of these recently in the other unit. Okay. Um, look, there's some fishing tackle. So we got some fishing tackle there. We've got a 79 JAG FC operator's manual. I'm not sure what an FC is. Let's find out. FC. Now I know. It's a sled. It's a snowmobile. Okay, so a 79 Jag uh, snowmobile right there. Look at this. You guys see this? All right, these are skateboard wheels. Now, I've, I've shared in previous videos, especially when we go thrifting, that some boards can be worth a ton of money. But a lot of times, the actual hardware and the wheels are worth more than the boards. So we'll have to actually look these up to see if they're worth anything. And the way that we look everything up is on eBay. And simple things like this, just a, this would be a suction cup, um, a suction cup pencil sharpener. This would sell, the last one I've sold like this on eBay went for $25, $30. So now is the time because before Christmas you can sell anything. Um, magic putty, laser putty. I have no idea what laser putty is, but they're, um, well, there it is. Whatever it is, there it is. I'm not sure what laser putty is. Here is some jewelry. Um, it's 
some other pieces. I'll give those to George because she'll probably use those in a bulk lot. What's this? Oh, nice! Nice, we just found a free kid's meal at Texas Roadhouse. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we go to Roadhouse tomorrow and see if I can actually claim this free kid's meal for me. I'll go in as an adult and see if they'll give it to me. Let's give it a try. I see a gift card. I don't think it's actually been release pay member. It hasn't been used yet, so we'll have to check that out. That will go in our, our accounting gift cards. What's this? Marbles? Marbles or? No, it's bling. Oh man, that is some serious bling. Look at that. Oh, I could go gangsta style with this. I'm gonna try it right now. This is hot. What do you guys think? Huh? Is that my bling in it? Let's see. Oh, oh, look, look, there's something else in there. You see that? There's something else. Oh, you know what? Here it is. What do we have? That looks like gold. Wait, 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 we got some other. Did we get it? I think we got it. A couple more things. Look at this. What's that? Yeah, 10K, do you see it? Right there. Now, it's not the best gold in the world, but I don't care because gold is gold. Gold's worth money. It will always be worth money. It's When the zombie apocalypse happens, it's gonna be toilet paper and gold. That's why I'm blinging it. All right. Set that aside. I'll have to check everything else for gold later. And take my bling off. My bling is cold. What else do we have here? That's really cool. A little cast iron dolphin anchor. That would go good in my bedroom. I've got a, a nautical theme there. Is this gold? Some kind of key brooch. It's kind of neat. Looks like we have... I don't know. Something. And looks like another brooch, actually. It's some kind of made in France. Look at that. I wonder if that's gold plated. Ever since I saw this ammunition box, I've been waiting to get into it. I've actually, I've found these before. This is maybe the third one I've ever found. And you can pick these up. I don't know, they're 20, $25. So let's see what we have. We have, we have a coconut. You put the lime in the coconut and miss it both up. You put the lime in the coconut and miss it both up. Say, doctor. All right, so we got, we got some shells there. Looks like we have Swiss Tech gloves. Those glow. If I put the, the light on, those will glow. But all the old people will complain, just like they do with George's gloves. You're blinding me. There is the back of a rifle that's kind of cool the rubber boot okay um we got the outdoor first aid kit Con contents three aspirin two tablets i wonder what year this is made in usa i just broke it see that i broke the lid and huh goldfish giant foam goldfish and that's what you need for first aid. Right there. Who would have thought? But there it is. Uh, we've got headlamp. And it looks like it kind of works. I should probably turn that off. Let's see. Okay, that's off. What is this? What is... Okay, sweet and sour. Master of mixes. Elevate your spirits with natural citrus flavor. So this isn't, this wouldn't be alcohol, right? Classic sour cocktail on the rocks mixer, frozen margarita. This would not be alcohol, right? I don't drink alcohol. So I'm just curious if it's natural citrus flavor. Let's set that aside. Oh, look at this sealed and I'm starving okay I have not had lunch I have not had time it's been busy 
off with the gloves. And it is from, well, it's from that person, which means they must have opened it. Do you think they were trying to poison anyone? No, it's sealed. It is sealed. Oh, not only is it sealed. Oh, it's special dark. And you guys know I love special dark. I'm with an Egyptian. Oh! Oh, that's when chocolate just goes wrong. That's bad. That's really bad. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to save that for off camera later. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't wanna see that. Uh, here's a Remington hat. It's kinda cool. And what's this? Okay, Copperhead BBs. We haven't seen an actual BB gun yet. There's a whole bunch of BBs. What is that? N M A. Huron County. I know where Huron County is. National What Association? Anybody anybody at all know what N M A stands for? There's a badge. Kind of cool. Let me know in the comments below what that could stand for. Uh, this looks like arrow tips. So that's for darts. That's what I meant, darts. Um, that's a turkey collar. Well, there's a turkey collar. We got two Samsung phones. Look at that. This will go with the other 5,000 that I have. It's probably more like 1,000. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's an easy $25. Harley Davidson belt buckle. Right there. That's money. That is money. George will probably actually auction that off on the channel. Here is a lighter. She likes auctioning these off too. Uh, West Coast Choppers. 2007 limited edition. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You guys see what I'm seeing? There we go. We got ammo. We do have ammo. I'll set that aside. We'll take care of that appropriately. And we got scent. Oh, it's a dangerous scent. Maybe if I use this. Haha, <laughs> maybe if I use this, George would be all over me. Like moon fire, wildlife. Actually, I might try this. Just dab some of that on right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to try this tonight and see what happens. Hope, hope for the best. Hope for the best. All right. Uh, we've got bullet point field points. We've got... Uh, uh, is that a walleye fishing tag? We've got... Got another headlamp. Um, look at this. USS Ronald Reagan. Wow, that's cool. Detroit Lions. And some kind of shake well. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's, that's some more of the good stuff. I'm just going to put this on right now. And I'm headed home. And I'll see what happens.